Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you the projects that I've been doing. Um, fortunately, I had this video all made and it had clips of the sand, the sanding, the painting, the staining, all of it. And of course, as soon as I was done with it, I lost it all. So I won't be able to show you the steps that I did, but I can show you the products that I used. And none of this is sponsored, by the way. I paid for it all myself. So um, I'll just go ahead and show you what I've done. All right, so this is the first coffee table. And what I did here was I repainted the sides and then I stained the top gray. So for some reason I'm kind of out of focus, but you, you get the idea, you see it. So before it was all white and it was like a shabby chic kind of look where they, you know, kind of buffed out the edges and stuff. So, but now it looks a lot crisper and cleaner and just looks so much better. All right, here in my dining room, I took a antique high chair, it was an oak high chair, and I um, turned it into this. My mom helped me out with all of this too, which was really great. And so what we did was we sanded it all down, we painted and stained it, and then we did the same thing to my dining table and my chairs need a little bit of touch up but other than that they are pretty good to go and then here is my curio cabinet that was also sanded down painted we painted the little details and then we also stained it all and then in the back we used like a wallpaper shiplock it's like a one of those stick on wallpapers that we use. But this is the finished look. I just have a little bit of detailing touch ups that I need to do. And then over here, I redid my coffee table and ink tables. So before they were like a really dark wood, kind of like how this chair is. That's what the wood looked like. And so we sanded that down, stained the top, painted the sides white, and it just really helped tighten everything. All right, so I'll show you the products that I ended up using. So I used 80 and 60 sandpaper. So here's the 80 sandpaper that was used. And then here was the 60 that we use mainly on the square um, coffee table because underneath it, someone had, so it was originally like a wood color and someone, a previous owner, um, had painted it black and then they had painted it white. So there was a lot of layers we had to go through and so we ended up using the 60 on it. It just made it a lot faster. And then to kind of, smooth things out a little bit more, we use the 150. And that just kind of got rid of any of the roughness that the 80 and 60 would have left behind. And then we use two different primers. Um, most of the furniture I mainly used, it's the Kilt's Original Interior Primer. And it dries in about an hour. It works pretty well. Um, and then for some of them, like the, for the legs of the square um, coffee table, we use the Zinsser primer. And that's what that looks like. With this one, you technically don't really have to sand before, but we did anyways. Um, with both the primers, we mainly just got off the shiny varnish on the um, furniture, but uh, it wasn't as big of a deal because we were going to prime it and paint it. Um, for the staining sections of the furniture, we did 
really sanded down to bare wood. Um, so for the paint that I use, it's the cabinet and trim enamel and the semi-gloss from Bear. So that is what that looks like. And the color that I used was Bakery Box. So here's like the information on that if you're wanting to know what white shade I use. And then for the stain, you can't really see the name, Verithane. It's a polyurethane stain, and I use the shade Carbon Gray, and this also dries in one hour. It dries pretty quick, guys. So that's what that looked like. I, it's kind of messy. The top's a little cleaner for you to see. And then to um, protect the stain, what I used was um, I just got a small can of it. Sorry, my nephew tore off <laughs> the paper on it, but it's just um, a clear coat. It's water-based. It's only a semi-gloss because I really didn't want it to be super glossy with the furniture. I feel like my square coffee table needs a little bit more of this because it seemed pretty dry and it really soaked up the clear coat. Um, but that's all you have to do is sometimes you just have to keep adding layers to your furniture if it's really dry. Um, and it just helps protect, um, the stain in the wood and it just gives like a nice finish and it seals the stain in too. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, the, these are the products that I used and, um, I just used a regular hand sander and, um, I found that the short blue handled kind of angled paintbrushes, those work the best. Um, at least for me and my mom they did. Um, I feel like you just have more control with a shorter handle brush than you do with a longer handle. But I've, for some of the furniture, I've even used the regular paint brushes that you can get at like the dollar store. They work just fine too. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry I lost all the footage. Um, but there will be more coming because I do have more projects that I plan on doing. Um, I'm going to be redoing that Victorian chair. I have bedroom furniture I want to redo. I have bathroom vanities I'm planning to redo. And I am also planning on redoing my fireplace. Um, and mainly it's just repainting stuff. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully in the next one I won't lose all of the footage. <laughs> um, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.